If you're looking to escape to a destination that's full of color, history, and endless opportunities for adventure, have we got the place for you. Come along as we explore Oconto County today on Discover Wisconsin. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. This is an anthem For those who look for more And never say they've seen it all Windows and blankets Take a ride The Grandlands great tonight Woo! Welcome to Discover Wisconsin. I'm Mariah Haberman and we are in Oconto County today, home to world-class fishing, national forest, and hundreds of miles of ATV trails. All right, you guys ready to ride? I am. Here we go. <laughs> Just a half hour north of Green Bay, Oconto County is dotted with charming little towns well worth a visit. With so much ground to cover, what exactly is the best way to get around here? Most people here will tell you to take the scenic route along Oconto County's many ATV trails. Don't mind if I do. We got, the, we got a guest coming in. Yeah. How we doing? Real good. 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 You guys look like some adventurous ATVers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we are. All so, right. Taking in a ride today, it's beautiful. Yes. Now give me the lay of the land because this is my first time riding ATV here in Ocano County. What should I know? Well, Ocano County has 450 miles of ATV trails. You're gonna see anything from railroad grade to winding through the beautiful forest. From here, you can actually ride this particular trail here all the way up to the UP. All right, you guys gonna be able to keep up with me? Well, we'll do our best. Yeah, we'll do our find best. Out. You ready to go? Out. Let's go. With trails connecting the towns, there's so much to see on your ride, but no ATV trip is complete without a stop at Sweet Memories Candy Shop in the town of Lakewood. With room, after room, after room of candy, you are sure to find something to satisfy your sweet tooth. Okay, so I'm going to do a sea salt toffee. Oh. Look at that. The biggest Tootsie Pop ever. <gasps> All women need another shoe, especially a chocolate one. I'm going to need a to-go bag. OK, so we know Oconto County's trails are gorgeous in the fall, but no need to hang up your helmet when the snow flies. Right, Eric? Ah, definitely not, Mariah. These trails are perfect for snowmobiling, and the dedicated members of local snowmobile clubs keep them groomed all winter long. In fact, I should probably go see if they need some help. Hey, how are you? Good, good to see you. Yeah. So, uh, nice ride. Do you need grooming help? No kidding. We can always use help. We got over 100 miles to groom this Sounds morning. Sounds good. Let's get it done. Most people think snowmobiling in northern Wisconsin, they think of the big tourist areas. Now, Count of County is kind of a well-kept secret. We have a lot to offer, beautiful trails in the heart of the Nicolay National Forest. If you notice in the mirrors, the snow how it's just tumbling and rolling through the drag. Yeah, it's no, continuously it's... moving. Moving the snow like that it helps de-aerate the snow, get the oxygen out of it so it'll compact more, put down a nice bed for the snowmobilers. The side rear of your mirrors, you see the nice glossy finish we're putting down? That's, oh, yeah. That's, that's the ultimate finished product. You're really the Zamboni of snowmobile trails. 
Coming up, Mariah discovers more of Nicolay National Forest. And later, I enjoy life in the fast lane. Welcome back to Oconto County, right here on Discover Wisconsin. The Nicolay National Forest covers over 140,000 acres of Oconto County, and an ATV or snowmobile isn't the only way to explore. The majesty of the forest is on full display when you visit Cathedral Pines. What is it about Cathedral Pines that you find so unique? It was owned by a logging family, the, the Holtz family, and the, the wife used to bring her children here, and she found it as a really beautiful place and begged her husband not to log it off and to, to preserve it. Well, back in the, the heydays of logging, everything was harvested. There isn't a lot of places you can go see the, the big grand trees that used to cover the majority of northern Wisconsin. When's the best time of the year to experience the area, do you think? I would say any. I mean, in the springtime, you have the, the herons in here nesting. In the fall, it's also beautiful with the color. There's never a bad time to come here. I'm never going to leave. Staying here forever. Also within the forest, there are multiple campgrounds where visitors can camp right on the bank of the Oconto River. Unwind with incredible views of Bagley Rapids, or take a dip in the water to cool off. The beauty of the Nicolay National Forest is truly hard to believe until you see it in person, but one local artist tries to capture that feeling in her work for all to enjoy. I'm known for my paintings on wood, but the process actually starts with my husband and I going out in the woods, finding our burls. I paint what I see in the grain of the wood with the knots and the colors and the shape. And you know, whatever the wood tells me to paint is what I paint. I think where I live inspires what I do because I'm in the woods every day and I love animals and nature. And this area is just a little hidden jewel. Find more Oconto-inspired art at the Lakes Country Arts and Crafts Show held the first Saturday in August in the town of Lakewood. This show draws thousands of people to the area to browse through the work of dozens of artists and crafters. But if you're more of a history buff, Eric's got just the place for you. Hey, Pete. Welcome to Copper Culture State Park. Thanks, great to be here. Yeah. I want to check this out. Yeah, come on in, let's take a look. Copper Culture State Park is located at the site of an ancient Native American burial ground that dates back as far as 5600 BC. The site was discovered in 1952, and archaeologists worked quickly to preserve what was left. So why is this called Copper Culture? Well, State it's, park. The word culture is in a lot of park names. Right. So. And it's called that because in 1952, when it was rediscovered, uh, a child was playing in the edge of the gravel pit, and there were actually bones falling out the side of the, of the gravel pit. So, so a kid found bones. Yes, yes. And brought and that's it to how the, this all started. Yep. And he brought it to the attention of, of, of authorities who contacted the County Historical Society but in their analysis, uh, they discovered it belonged to the Old Copper Culture, or what's now called the Old Copper Tradition. And it's, uh, it's an archaic period culture in Wisconsin. Archaic period peoples predated agriculture. So these people were, were hunters and fishermen living in villages that had probably moved from time to time. But they knew how to work with they copper. They knew how to work copper, and that was why they were called Old Copper, because they were among the earliest metalsmiths in eastern Wisconsin. There's so much for visitors to see at Copper Culture State Park. See photographs of the burial grounds, learn about the old copper culture, and browse through exhibits featuring artifacts found at the site. There's all kinds of different tools. These are the different categories. Uh, there's spear points, woodworking tools, uh, digging tools, knives. What's interesting about these things is, is there, you, you find these unusual artifacts occasionally, and uh, sometimes you just don't know what it is. They're brain teasers. You're, yeah. you're teasing me with this. Yes, yeah, so our question is to archaeologists and lay people as well, what are these? Let's take a walk out by the, the archaeological site. There's a cool marker. How long has this been here? This was put up in the 1960s by the Ocano County Historical Society to commemorate the location of the burial ground. 55, 56 BC. Long before even the Egyptian pyramids and so forth. Head to discoverwisconsin.com to learn more about everything Mariah and I checked out today and start planning your trip to Copper Country.
That's pretty quiet here. I assume Copperfest is somewhere else, but nearby? Yes, it is, and I think we should go there. I think we should. We're making our way through Oconto County today on Discover Wisconsin. Now that we've learned all about the history of copper culture, it's time to celebrate it at Copperfest. Copperfest started back in 1982. There's plenty of family entertainment, plenty of music, plenty of food. You can basically go around the world and eat. And if you don't go away full, you did something wrong. Going home full shouldn't be a problem, especially if you enter the hamburger eating contest like me. All right, gentlemen, are you ready? Get set, go! You know, unfortunately I didn't win. This is one delicious burger though. The nice part is I get to savor the rest of this. Copperfest is packed with games, family activities, and for the kids, or the kid and you, rides. Dude, this is totally fun. I've been one of these in a long time. <laughs> Don't do the swing first. Oh, and a hamburger eating contest. Continue your celebration of Ocado County's history with a visit to the Daniel E. Krause Chase Stone Barn in the town of Chase. Built in 1903, this beautiful field stone barn is on the National Register of Historic Places. Or take a tour of the Bayer Home, a beautiful, fully restored Victorian mansion. The Bayer Home has been open to the public since 1940, and it's the restored residence of George and Fanny Bayer. George Bayer, of course, was an early O'Connell businessman. He occupied this home with his family till 1940, at which time he turned it over to the local historical society. We're entering the music room. Families would gather sometimes in the music room on evenings to uh, enjoy uh, an evening of music. Yeah, you didn't have radios then. There were no radios, there were no TVs. So what would you say is the most unique, significant piece of this house? Why would people want to come tour it? Well, the Bayer home is a completely restored Victorian Italianate house. Uh, the furniture in this room, as in many of the rooms, is original with the Bayers. You're seeing how people in the late 1800s, around the turn of the century, lived on a daily basis. Visitors can also see how people used to ride in style back in the 1900s. What are we doing, about five? We're going about seven miles per hour. Oh, seven, slow down, you're gonna kill us all here. <laughs> so this is a 1911, what, early Mustang? <laughs> Not exactly. Camaro? It's a Waverly. Waverly. Victoria Phaeton. Okay. It's made in Indianapolis. There's only a handful left in the world, so we're very proud to have this one here in O'Connell. Yeah, that's awesome. Keep it on the ground, Eric. I, however, am taking flight at the Oconto Fly-In. It's called a fly-in, because we have a number of different aircraft flying in. We have helicopters, general aviation aircraft. We have a car show. And we have an army encampment that you're gonna learn about World War II, some of the equipment that they have. Look at that. What a beaut. Eagle 3, this is M. Hobbs. Come in, Eagle 3. This one looks quite spacious. You seem to be interested in the airplane. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. It's a very beautiful plane. I love the orange, love the color. Thank you. What's the story behind it? They use this kind of airplane to go look for the bad guys during the Korean and Vietnam conflicts. There's so much to explore at the Oconto Fly-In, but we have saved the best for last. It's not all about just looking at the aircraft. You can take a ride inside one, too. All right, let's get to the chopper. Learn more about the Oconto Fly-In and download an itinerary of all the exciting things to do in Oconto County at discoverwisconsin.com. Coming up, we're wrapping up our journey through Oconto County with a one-of-a-kind fishing trip. Stay with us. 
finding our place in Oconto County right here on Discover Wisconsin. Oconto County is filled with amazing history, but what most people know this area for? It's beautiful lakes and rivers. Bring your boat for a day of fun on the water. The Oconto Harbor has boat launches and boat slip rentals. And where else can you enjoy this gorgeous scene? Lakewood Ski and Sport has everything you need for a day on the lake. From tubing to skiing to paddleboarding, they've got you covered. Spend a day relaxing at one of Oconto County's sandy beaches. Warm sunshine, cool water, and beautiful views? Count me in. But if your ideal vacation includes a rod and reel, then you've come to the right place. Yeah. <laughs> Oconto County is a renowned fishing destination in Wisconsin. Whether it's lakes, streams, or rivers like this one, you're bound to catch something. From world-class walleye on Green Bay or wading through trout streams, Oconto County is perfect for every angler. We did a little fishing on the lakes and the rivers, and now it's time to head bayside. I'm gonna catch me a walleye, or two. Now, if you're looking for a little guidance when it comes to fishing, there are a ton of charter services that will get you geared up to catch that trophy fish. Hi, you must be Don. Yeah, hi Mariah. Welcome to Bay of Green Bay and the city of Wakano. Thank you. You gonna help me catch the big one today? We're gonna sure give her a shot. Go a little fishy. There, there, I, got, I even got one on there for you. Ooh, a pink one. That's gonna be a lucky one, I just know it. We didn't have to wait too long until... Oh, here you go, Mariah. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Just real nice and steady. Here we go. No, nice and slow. Nice, nice and, and steady. Slow. Oh, we got double. Double duty? Yeah, we got a double. We got two fish on the line right now. Okay. Nice and easy. Ah! There he is. There you go. Oh, look at that. That's a walleye. Oh, nice. <laughs> On your pink one. Yes, I told you that was going to be the lucky one. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. Oh, wow. Beautiful, huh? Oh, yeah. There. Look at that. Yeah. I think so. There you go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oconto County is clearly a premier fishing spot. Don and I couldn't reel them in fast enough. All right, it's getting closer. Here we go. My arms feel like they're gonna fall off. <laughs> oh, now I feel them. If you love adventure and the outdoors, I'll see you in Oconto County. Start planning your trip at discoverwisconsin.com. There he is. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Do I really got <laughs> For more information and bonus video from this episode, go to discoverwisconsin.com. And don't forget, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discover Wisconsin Radio all across the state. Our trip at discoverwisconsin.com. I'm Mariah Hopperman. Oh, no, I 